Hi, I'm Dr. Kenyon Meadows, and I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Cancer Care Center. I'm part of the physician team that uh, performs CyberKnife radiosurgery treatments for cancer. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how one goes about starting the CyberKnife process, either for yourself or for a loved one. Through our relationships with referring doctors, most of our patients are referred in after we've educated the, the referring doctor on what the typical indications are for CyberKnife treatment. However, some patients prefer to call directly, and if that's the case, we have an experienced nurse navigator who will take that call, uh, ask the relevant questions, and gather the appropriate documentation, and we'll schedule a consultation directly that way. We at Southeast Georgia Health System understand that a cancer diagnosis oftentimes can be very anxiety provoking. Unfortunately, getting access to technologically advanced cancer care can sometimes take weeks uh, at larger centers. I'm happy to say that we are able to get most patients in within one week's time from when they request their initial consultation. And once they get here, they'll find a dedicated, friendly staff uh, committed to getting the best outcome for them. Lots of patients wonder if they can continue to see their primary care doctor or other oncologist while they undergo CyberKnife. Short answer is yes. Most patients who have cancer have multiple physicians that are involved in their care, surgeons, chemotherapy doctors, and CyberKnife is often just one component of that care. So it's not unusual for a patient to come, have their CyberKnife treatment, have follow-up with us, but also very much uh, in an integrated fashion with follow-up with their doctors that were previously involved in their care. An additional uh, aspect of that is that with CyberKnife, we've started to treat patients from a much larger geographic area than before, um, out of the county, some patients out of the state, and so sometimes patients come here, get their treatment, but it's more practical for them to follow up with their local doctors, and we always encourage that. The CyberKnife, from a technological standpoint, is capable of treating cancers that occur anywhere in the body. Some of the most common indications are for use in the brain, lung, and prostate. And another common scenario is when we have cancer that is spread from the initial organ to another organ and is causing pain. And we oftentimes may use it for pain relief. In all of these scenarios, we're often able to accomplish our goal in a matter of days as opposed to weeks with conventional radiation.